Colburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 13, The Unstable Man, NPR 13.1. There is a man halfway between the real man and the weekly. It is the unstable man. He wavers and is undecided. In thinking, he displays a woman's weakness. He wrings his hands in the face of calamity and makes no move. NPR 13.2. Take hold of yourself. Be a man. Though now you have a body given over to weakness, the soul within has a reserve of resolution. Call it forth, and it will serve you well. NPR 13.3 Forget the things wherein you are strong, for they need no attention. Consider your weaknesses and failings and keep them ever in sight. Beware of the weakness of indecision, for a bad decision is better than no decision at all. Beware of irresolution. Better is it to journey along the wrong path than never to start. MPR 13.4 What can you call to your aid against these gray shrouded adversaries? Is it not the strength of resolution and determination? MPR 13.5 the unstable man knows he is changeable, like the thistle down, a plaything of the wind, but he knows not why. Though he knows he escapes from himself, he knows not how. O oh, man of thistle down, be firm with yourself, be inflexible in following a course that is right. Thus, then, they learn to rely on you. The eyes of men will regard you with esteem. MPR 13.6 Set out a code of conduct peculiar to yourself, and at all times abide by it. Never betray the principles you set yourself, and thus you will find the road to stability. He who has no rules to abide by is like a vessel, which has lost its stealing oar, or as an unmanned chariot. MPR 13.7 Suppress the desires that rise to dominate you. Relinquish the urges that drive to misfortune, and the peace reigning within will not be disturbed by anxiety and disappointment. MPR 13.8 The unstable man spreads the restlessness and uneasiness which eat his spirit, as dogs spread fleas. None can enjoy ease and contentment who joins his company. MPR 13.9 he who has no code to live by is like the weather vane, turning with every change of wind. Today he loves, and tomorrow he hates. Today he argues this way, and tomorrow that way, and he himself knows not why he changes. Now hot, now cold, he is never constant, and none can place faith in him. MPR 1310 Today he is arrogant, and tomorrow servile, but this flows from the weakness of his nature. For he who is arrogant without power will be servile, when none demands servility. MPR 1311 What is life to such as he but shadows cast on the sand? Before noon he is merry, and afternoon down in the depths of gloom. Now he rides high on the wings of ecstasy, shortly to be plunged into the very abyss of despair. One moment he laughs, the next he sighs. He walks in the door determined, inside he becomes shiftless. He himself never knows what he is or may quickly become. Can any structure of contentment be built on such a shifty foundation? Foolish is the woman who marries an unstable man, for her future is uncertain.